Working at a strip club, she got picked up. I got my dick sucked, she got tip up. She sucked my ball sack and licked my asshole. I came in her head and she called me an asshole. Hello, everybody. This is Love Pony 003 here today to bring you guys a Telos AK Bill for Dummies. Yeah, now I know what you're thinking. Man, everybody's got one of these. But you know what? Mine reigns superior, and I'll show you why. Alright, now these things, you know, it, I've noticed are actually adequately better than the Bolter Prime in quite a few ways. I mean, look at the incredible fire rate they have right here. Um, if you watch carefully, you can see how like fast you can run through ammo. Um, no, I don't have modded controller for anybody wondering, but anyhow, uh, the fact is, I mean, these things have amazing damage. I mean, the puncture is absolutely insane on them, and they have an amazing elemental to boot. So, I mean, overall, you're going to be doing about 2,000 damage a shot with these things, where half and half is, uh, you know, half is puncture, half is elemental, and it's just amazing. Now, really, I can't say anything bad about these, um, other than maybe the reload time. Um, that can be a bit of a problem, but I mean, other than that, really, these things are absolutely amazing. I mean, they, I mean, they go fast, can take down forward here, it's just so easy. I mean, I know he's only level 22 there, but I mean, still, they, that, that's just maybe a five shot right there you saw, so I mean, that, that, that is pretty good. Now, uh, really, another awesome thing about the Telesync about those, though, is that they are, um, very high on status chance too, so that also adds to like the factor of just how good these weapons are. Um, yeah, but really, I can't say much bad about them. Um, if you guys can find anything bad, uh, put them in the comments. I'd be interested to know because I'm I'm still trying to find flaws about them. Um, yeah, that's really as much as I can really say about these at the moment. Um, but aside from that, uh, let's get to the modding. Now, these are going to have 940.2, if I read that correctly, elemental. And we're going to have 1,129.0 puncture, 44.8 uh, impact, 59.4% status chance. And that is pretty fucking good in my opinion. Now, we're going to start off with the bore. A barrel diffusion, hornet strike, ha, ha. lethal torrent, and then we're gonna have a no return, a jolt, a pistol pestilence, and a convulsion. Now, for this elemental combo, you can interchange it. Um, I personally, as always, run with the, uh, you know, void build with the uh, corrosive. Sometimes I put cold, but in this case, I do not. Um, you can if you want to, but if you, uh, yeah, you could just add plain uh, radiation or what you can do is you replace no return with a, uh, I believe, uh, yes, it is a toxin mod. And what you'll do is you will create the uh, radiation viral combo, but you do sacrifice puncture in the process. And that is something I am not really fond of doing in any way necessary. Um, I actually got a magnetic gas here, but um, really, in the end game, uh, it, it's your choice whether or not to sacrifice the puncture. Um, I personally would not, but for a corpus build like this, you have to, because the, the puncture really does nothing to the corpus, so I would just go pure elemental on them. Uh, that, that's really my recommendation to you, but... Uh, yeah, you can also run with magnetic gas. I do not really recommend doing that though. But yeah, it's really it. That's your viral radiation combo though for the grenier. Um, that is a great combo for the grenier. I would definitely sacrifice the puncture in that case. Um, now you don't have to. What you would do then is you would just go with corrosive or pure radiation instead. Um, but yeah, that's really all you got to do. Um, but I, as me, being me, I will always run with the of everywhere I go except for against the corpus. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been another video by Love Pony 3 and I am out.